Invert airs have been one of my favorite moves for a long, long time. And the reason is hitting the lip, getting projection, boosting out into the air is one of my favorite things. I've been bodyboarding for over 30 years now and trying to perfect this move. So hopefully I can share some secrets to help you do it too. An invert air is basically hitting the lip on your bodyboard and going upside down. So kind of like doing a barrel roll or an air roll halfway around and then coming back the way that you came. If anyone can remember the old BMX days, there used to be a, a maneuver called a tabletop air. Same thing, they kind of go upside down like that on their side. That's where the bodyboard maneuver came from, but we call it an invert air. The difference between an invert air and a normal air is that an invert air, you go upside down and arc your way out into the flats in front of the wave. Whereas with a normal air, which is also known as a EPO air, sometimes known as a flying squirrel air, you kind of go long ways and fly over the section and then land and then ride out of it. My top tip for nailing a really, really silky smooth invert air, something that I'll tell you a bit later on in the video towards the end. It's a game changer that I feel sets your invert air from normal to advance. A stepping stone to learning the invert air is to learn how to do a maneuver called the air roll. We've already done a YouTube video about how to do an air roll. You can watch that here. I'd highly recommend learning that move first because in my opinion, it's a bit easier, but the dynamics are the same. You need to learn to hit the lip as it's pitching. You go upside down in both maneuvers and you land in a very similar way as well. So I definitely learn the air roll first and then lead on to the invert air as a secondary maneuver and it's a beautiful way to progress. There's a few guys on this planet that have absolutely nailed invert airs and they actually do them in different ways. The first one that springs to mind is Mitch Rawlins. His style of doing invert airs is second to none. Kind of kicks his leg, flies in a beautiful arc and lands so smoothly. And then a more gymnastic approach is Jeff Hubbard and him busting an invert air. Again, it's mega tweaked and super stylish, but slightly different from Mitch Rawlins. If you can combine Mitch Rawlins and Jeff Hubbard into one smooth invert air style, you're absolutely killing it. The reason that I love doing invert airs, I believe, is because most of the time I surf a wedge wave. A wedge wave's characteristics are that there's loads of power in the peak, you fly along the shoulder and you generally hit an end bowl. Other than wedge waves, if you've got a real nice tubing bowly wave, you can decide not to get barreled and instead bottom turn around the barrel, come up and launch out of that kind of mouth of the barrel section, which is an amazing section to do invert as. Yeah, bear all those things in mind, it's gonna help you bust out. You've flown down the line, you've hit the lip, you've got air, now you need to land it. There's a few critical things you need to know. The first thing is you need to hit the lip and keep your eyes open and look for the point that you're gonna land. In the perfect world, you'll be landing as the lip explodes and bounces up so you've got a nice foamy landing. That's in the perfect world. But what happens a lot of the time due to the nature of the air is you'll come off the lip and you'll come out in front of the wave and you'll land in the flats. Whether you're landing on the foam or you're landing on the flats, it's really important to get yourself braced for that landing. Some riders, Jeff Hubbard again, I've noticed puts his elbows in like this and, and braces himself that way. Epo used to always pull his hands up to the front of his board and brace himself that way. I personally find if I keep my hands in the prone position, I hold on tight, so I really, really focus on taking a good grip on my board so that then when I land, my hands don't come off and I don't headbutt my board. The key to landing them is getting the nose of the board pointed towards the shore as you land. So try not to land kind of wonky. Some of the Aussies and also Bjorn Story actually locally to me do really nice invert airs where as you go up you kind of tweak back in the direction that you've come from which is really cool but then from there you still have to get the nose back towards the beach so that you can land nice and smoothly. My top tip for this maneuver, my secret sauce is definitely hitting the lip, throwing your inside leg upside down and the best way to do that is by getting your left hip and throwing it up by kicking your leg up in the air, okay? Now, if you kick your fin up in the air, that makes your leg split like that. But if you arc like that, it means that you fly like that and you generally have a much better chance of landing the air, but also the air looks like 10 times more stylish. Yeah, take that one and use it for sure. Hope you found those tips useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you've got any comments, whack them below. We'd love to hear from you. Visit our website at www.bodyboard-holidays.com and we look forward to getting barreled with you soon.